Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the RG350 and the Pocket Go version 2. But no, this isn't going to be a comparison video. We're going to see if we can use the stated maximum of 128 gigabyte micro SD, a 256 micro SD card, or should we push it a little further? Sure, why not? A 512 gigabyte micro SD for our games. This test will be performed on the secondary micro SD card on each device. Let's get started. Over the past several weeks, I've been getting a lot of questions, either via email or comments in the videos, asking if a 256GB microSD will work on an RG350 or a Pocket Go version 2. Now officially, it supports up to 128GB, and I would stick with the manufacturer's recommendation. However, the question is, does it work? That's what we're going to answer in this video. The ultimate goal here is to save you the time and the expense in finding out whether or not these cards work or not. And also, we'll up the ante a little bit and find out if the 512GB works as well. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on the 128GB, it's the stated maximum anyway. But we are going to spend time on the 256GB, make sure it gets formatted properly, copy some files and do some tests. And we'll also do the same with the 512GB on both devices. Keep in mind, I will put links in the description below if you're interested in picking up any one of these. I want to explain a little bit about the testing strategy that we're going to use here. First, we're going to insert the micro SD card into the device. Once we do that, we're going to power it on and load up Dingix Commander. And from there, we're going to go on the left hand side to the home directory. And then on the right hand side, we're going to go to the micro SD card that we're going to test. And we're going to move the contents, which is about 2 megs of data, from the right hand side over to the internal micro SD card. Then we're going to move again that same contents over to the micro SD card that we're testing. And the reason for doing this is so we can verify that we can both read and write to the storage micro SD card. So on the RG350, it's going to be the only micro SD slot that's externally accessible. And on the Pocket Go 2, it's going to be the storage card on the right hand side at the bottom of the unit. And of course, after that, we're going to fire up a few games and make sure they run just fine. Before we begin our test, we first need to go to this website, link in the description below, and click here to download the FAT32 formatting tool for Windows. If you're on a Mac, I'm sorry, you'll have to use a different app. And to make it a little easier, I'll just copy it to my desktop. Next, we'll remove the 256GB microSD from the packaging. Be careful not to cut anywhere near the card. And then we will slide the 256GB microSD into the sleeve, just like so, and then plug it into our computer. We'll take a quick look at the micro SD. Here we have 238 gigs and it's formatted as XFAT. We want FAT32, so we'll go ahead and exit here, double click our GUI format tool, make sure the correct drive is selected, hit start, OK. We'll reformat the disk as FAT32 and then click close. And for this test, I went ahead and prepared a directory full of stuff that we're going to copy. It's about 100 megs worth of video, of course, games, and so forth. We're going to paste it into the 256 gig micro SD card. And we'll go ahead and load it up into the RG350 for our first test. So you just pop the card in kind of upside down and we'll turn on the unit. All right, let's get started. First, we'll go to Dingix Commander. And I'll go ahead and fast forward here. We'll go ahead on the left hand side, select the internal micro SD card and our 256 gigabyte micro SD on the right. So now we'll move the file over to the internal and back to the external. 
and the read write test was a success so that's awesome all right so we'll exit dingix commander and we'll go ahead and switch over to the emulators tab and let's go ahead and try some games just to make sure everything is hunky dory so we'll start up the playstation emulator i'll go to the root here select the sd card and we'll go to the roms and the folder that contains the playstation roms somewhere down here here we go and we'll try gran turismo So far, so good. We'll just play a few seconds of the game just so you can get a feel for, hey, everything's loading up just fine on the 256 gigabyte micro SD. So far. <laughs> All right, now we'll switch over to Galaga real quick for the PlayStation. And again, that looks pretty good too. All right, so we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And we'll go back into Dingus Commander. And I'm going to delete this main for all or dot main for all subfolder because I want to go down to main for all and set the directory to my micro SD card. So we'll move down to main and hit start. And now we are operating off of the 256 gig micro SD and running Galaxian. Very cool. All right, we'll quickly try one other emulator. Let's go ahead and load up UAE for All, which is an Amiga emulator. And we'll go ahead and launch the Amiga. I'm fast forwarding it just because it takes a little while to boot it up. And here we go. And we'll go ahead and open the workbench here. Open the system folder. And that looks good too. All right, I think we can safely conclude the 256 gigabyte micro SD is a success on the RG350. So now we're going to take that same card, remove it from the RG350, and install it into the Pocket Go version 2. So we'll just insert the micro SD card, and we'll power it up, go to Dingix Commander, and on the left hand side, we'll go to Media Data. Yeah, media data. And on the right hand side, we'll go to media. Uh, our SD card is not showing up. Uh oh. So I removed the micro SD card and plugged it back in and powered the unit back up. And we'll go back in, go to the folder. And on the right hand side, our micro SD card. And yes, it's showing up now. So apparently the card did not get inserted properly. We'll do our move test. Move the file over to the left and now back over to the right. And the read write test is successful. So now we can move on and test some games. We'll go over to the PlayStation emulator. Again to the root. Select the PlayStation subfolder. We'll try out Asteroids for the PlayStation. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we'll move on to Dingix Commander, and I'm going to go down to the dot main for all subfolder, and I want to delete it. So I'm going to press the X button up here and go to delete. Okay, it didn't delete it. Now this is operating off of the internal card, not the external. So it's something strange here. The only thing that I could get to work is renaming the file, and even after doing that, I still couldn't delete it. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Alright, so we'll go into main for all, we'll set our subfolder, we'll go to ROMs, and we'll go to MAME, and hit start, and we'll play Dig Dug. Yep, 
Yes, I'm a little concerned about the Pocket Go and this 256 gig card. Although the issue we just experienced was not directly related to that card. So, I don't know. Maybe it's unrelated. But I want to let you know. Alright, so now we will go over to the Stella emulator. And we'll go to the ROMs 2600 and we'll load up Berserk on the Atari 2600. I do want to make you aware I have instructions on my website on how to set up the Stella emulator, but some people have told me they're having issues with it. So I want to make you aware of that. Now we're going to check out the granddaddy of them all, the 512 gigabyte micro SD card. So we'll go ahead and open it again. Watch out for the card. You don't want to damage it in any kind of way. Aha, there we go, the 512 gig micro SD from Samsung. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install it in the sleeve and pop it into the computer. All right, again, it came pre-formatted with XFAT file system and we've got uh, 476 gigabytes of free space. So we'll go ahead and load up our handy dandy FAT32 format tool. Again, make sure you got the right drive, hit start, and format. This will take a few more seconds. It's a slightly larger card and we are done and we can click close and now we're going to copy our files. Again it's about a hundred gigabytes of data and video and games and so forth and now we're going to pop it into the Pocket Go. We'll start out with the Pocket Go version 2 this time and we'll go into the application, Dingix Commander. We'll go ahead and go to our folder where we're doing all our testing. And we'll, again, do the read-write test. So we're going to copy this to the internal card, or move it, rather. And then we'll move it back. And there we go. Seemed to take a little while longer. All right, so now we're going to move on to the emulators, and let's try a different emulator. Let's go into o Oh Boy, which is a Game Boy emulator. And we'll go to the root, we'll select Media, SD Card, and our games in the Game Boy. And we'll play Asteroids. Oops, I hit the wrong button. All right, and that looks like it's working. Good deal. Now we'll move on to the PlayStation again. And the reason why I like to use the PlayStation is because these files are quite a bit larger. And it's a little bit better of a test. So we'll go down to the PlayStation subfolder and we'll play Crash Bandicoot. Looks pretty good to me. All right, so I guess we can go ahead and remove the micro SD from the Pocket Go. Yeah, 512, that's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and pop that same card into the RG350, and we'll do some more testing there. All right, so now we'll go back into Dingix Commander. And we'll go ahead and set our directories as we usually do. The internal on the left and the new card that we're testing on the right. And we'll do a file move test. And we'll move this subfolder over to the internal and move it back to the right. Just to prove the read write actually works. And again, this seemed to take just a slight bit longer with this card something I noticed. All right, let's do a game test. And for this test, let's go to the Intellivision and we'll go ahead and load up uh, a game. We'll go to the root again, make sure that we are selecting the SD card. And we'll go down to ROMs and we'll move down to Intellivision. All right, and we'll play Astro Smash Meteor, 1981. 
Alright, so now we got it loaded. Remember the button sequences here. There we go. The top right button. Alright, so now we're playing Astro Smash. And everything seems hunky dory. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty darn excited about this being able to use a 512 gigabyte micro SD card on any of these devices. Now we're going to try out Hydro Thunder on the PlayStation. Looking good. Well, my gameplay has a little bit to be desired. So now we're moving on to Marvel Super Heroes on the PlayStation 1 again. Just checking out the gameplay. You want to make sure everything looks good and runs fine and everything's been going pretty well so far. Alright, well I think that was a fairly exhaustive test of both the Pocket Go version 2 and the RG350 with the 256 and 512 gigabyte micro SD cards. I hope you found this video very informative and that it saves you the time and expense of repeating this test on your own. Again, I'll put links in the description below for any of these cards if you're interested in it. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you wish to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, we shall see you very soon.